what I will be doing in this video is proving that the determinant of this matrix is the product of the quantities of xn minus xn minus 1 times the quantity of xn minus xn minus 2 times the quantity dot 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 times the quantity of all the way down until xn minus x1 and then you move down the n so you get xn minus 1 minus xn minus 2 and then you do that all the way down until xn minus 1 minus x1 then you do xn minus 2 then x minus blah 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 all the way down until x2 minus x1 now Dr. Pyam already did the cases for uh, n equals 2 and 3 he already showed that this was true. So I'm going to prove it for by induction. So I'll assume, assume for eh, n minus 1 and then prove uh, n. So I'll create a new sheet and now I'll just write out the matrix x1 all the way up until x1 to the n down to x n or across x n to the n okay determinant of this let's treat this in respect to this row so you end up getting uh negative 1 to the n and then determinant of some stuff and plus negative 1 to the n plus 1 uh, I forgot something it's gonna be an x n in there then an x n squared right there determinant some stuff we're gonna do that oh all the way up until we get to negative 1 to the n plus n or 2n right so that's, that's just 1 times x n to the n determinant and this is important x1 all the way up until x 1 to the n minus 1 down until x n minus 1 across to x n minus 1 to the n minus 1 and we got it okay and we'll treat this just replace all the x n's in this equation with a general x and that will give us a polynomial because in respect to x n in this case so uh, now, what we can do is find out that P of xi, right, is going to be the determinant of x1, x1 to the n. I'm going to mark xi here all the way up until xi to the n. Mark this all the way down until x i, all the way up until x i to the n again, right? So, just something like that, right? So then, this determinant, because we have two similar rows, is going to be 0, okay? So now I have 4i. Four, four Uh, I between 1 and n, right? So then I can find that the roots, they're the roots of the polynomial. Ah, oh, God. Okay. So then we end up getting that P of xn, right? is going to be by the polynomial root theorem or whatever it's called it's going to be xn 
I'm going to write it differently. Xn minus x1, xn minus x2. This, this is probably a better notation here. All the way up until xn minus xn minus 1. Right? And times some constant. But we all know what the c is. It's going to be that right there. But, because this is an inductive proof, this right here, by the hypothesis of the induction, this right here is going to be x n minus 1 minus x 1 all the way up until, uh, it's not a minus sign, but x n minus 1 minus uh, x n minus 2. And you continue that on by the induction, if you remember it, and then you get all the way down until x2 minus x1. Okay? So then, right here, I'm going to write it in a very specific way. Uh, it's going to be x2 minus x1, and then we're going to multiply that by x3 minus x1 and then x3 minus x2 all the way up until xn minus x1 right? all the way up until xn minus xn minus 1 okay and the reason why I write it like this because it'll be easy to represent using this product notation. So right here we're going to have the sum from i equals uh, 2 until n. Right here we're going to have the product from j equals I'm going to do 1 all the way up until i minus 1, okay? So then it's going to be of xi minus xj. This is going to be final expression written in the simplest form. I forgot what the... the, the the actual the, the matrix is called but I just proved it generally basically meaning you just product all of them together in a very specific way and it's great